Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Big news day. The earthquake watch took an extra two days to come through, but devastation has struck. We also caught a UFO on the new GOES coronagraph. We've got top science news as well as we start with the last 24 hours on our star, where the only significantly eruptive event was the plasma filament on the incoming hemisphere. It released southward, away from the Earth. We have two quick notes on the solar wind and sunspots here before we leave the sun, which has been relatively quiet for a stretch here. Next Riger cycle upticks expected in April. The solar wind is finally dying back this morning. It was a two-day coronal hole stream with pretty significant speed. Geomagnetic conditions returning to normal as well. And while the sun has indeed been quiet, the sunspot situation could be about to ramp back up. Coronal hole had dominated the disk, but now the spots are starting to crest over the limb. Top story today, destruction in Asia, a magnitude 7.7 earthquake, major crustal break, striking Myanmar and was felt across the region widely. There are many reported dead, including dozens of construction workers still trapped under the debris of a building they were constructing. Prayers for those affected, this was a bad one. Also worth noting, a six-pointer struck the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, but by comparison, that event was pretty much nothing. So up next, while diagnosing the filament eruption CME, I caught this little guy skating across the screen. Its consistent path tells us it's the same object frame to frame, which rules out cosmic rays and protons. Asteroids would be backlit from this angle, Comets would look bigger, and there's none this close that we wouldn't be able to see, and they would have bigger tails. And the traverse time of about an hour tells us this was a super fast spacecraft. Human? Something else? Well, that's not my specialty, but the satellite is, and that's a ship. Up next, the kids are okay. I love when colleges do this, get the kids involved in real science. Two that caught my eye in this exhibit were the magneto reception of roaches, all insects use the field of Earth, with the entire taxa at risk during this upcoming magnetic pole shift. The other was the cosmic ray impact to the atmosphere. It not only causes increased cloud condensation, but it juices up lightning and excites the global electric circuit. Lastly today, folks, good look at the May 2024 solar storm impact over Bolivia as a marker for the South Atlantic anomaly compared to the rest of the world. The Kyoto station in Japan is pretty much considered the standard, and the magnetic weak spot of Earth took more than 25% harder a hit in terms of geomagnetic disturbance. This reminds us that the most likely first solar scare we're going to get will not be global, but a regional blackout from something not unlike this effect of the weak spot of Earth. Folks, there is so much happening at the ranch this summer. Pick your time, book your stay at ObserverRanch.com, or just give us a call. If you can't make the bigger events, just tell the team you want to say hi. I'll find a way to get out there. I come even if there's just one observer, provided they don't show up without telling us. Come see us, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.